Buckle your seatbelts, there's a classic competition revving up its engines. Three old-time autos are in the race for first place. Ready to put the, metal to the, pe the pedal to the metal are Becky Carlino and Mary Ann Porinchak. As Director of Community Engagement for Western Reserve Historical Society, Becky's driven to win by representing the Crawford Auto Aviation Museum and Mary Ann's in the driver's seat of the National Packard Museum as its Executive Director. Thanks for joining both me, both You're of welcome. you today. Thank you for having uh, so us. So let's start. What are the rules of this race? You want to start, Becky? It's really simple. I think the best car wins. Um, but what we're going to do is have the three museums come together and we're going to do some road challenges. And the third museum is the Canton? The Canton Classic Car Museum. Okay. Um, Mary Ann, what kind of competitions are you gearing up for? Well, I believe they're going to try their skill at going around pylons. There will be a start and run uh, type of race and it'll all be against time and, and then maneuverability. The biggest thing will be reliability at this point. Is there one car from each of the three museums that participates? Yes. So you guys pick a car and then you go at it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, where do we park ourselves to get the best seat to watch this thing? Um, you'll go to the Hamburger Festival August 21st. It's at Lock 3 in downtown Akron. And the okay. race is going to take place about 2 p.m. Great. Um, Marianne, why do you think that the Packard's going to win? Well, the Packard has a long history of reliability and durability, so even though our car is, what, 115 years old, I believe it still has what it takes to, to do this task and to do it well and successfully. Do you uh, jazz it up for the oh, for the guys competition? Are, the, the guys are in training already. It's, <laughs> it's a start and stop, start and stop. It's a single cylinder car, so it takes a little tweaking. It's got hand brakes, and, and it does take a little bit to get it started. So it'll be interesting to see now, how this goes. Can you take like a, a, like a jet engine and stick it in and you know, really rev it up? Or? I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Becky, what kind of car is Crawford uh, driving to the starting line? We're actually taking a Cleveland-made car. It's a 1902 American Gas. Uh, the car was in production for only two years, and then the company kind of went bankrupt, which is sad. But the car is uh, one cylinder, and it is less complicated to drive than your car, I think. Um, but I'm not driving it. We have a secret weapon driver that we're bringing with us. So <laughs> it's going to take a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are quite competitive here. I don't know. So it's August 21st, mm -hmm. and uh, but people can come out to the museums and see. Uh, these classic cars all year round, I assume. Right. They're Except for these two, I think they're hiding, getting ready for the race. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, thank you both for coming out. Thank I really you. appreciate it. We'll look forward to seeing who the best car is to win. Thank Great. you. Thank, thank you. you. So may the best classic car win. Be sure to cheer on your favorite. For a roadmap of information, call the number that's coming up next, and we wish the best of luck to all of our competitors. For more information, call the Crawford Auto Aviation Museum at 216-721-5722 or visit their website, www.wrhs.org. Next, don't get caught in a co-signing catastrophe.